Are you tired of losing your homegrown vegetable harvest to pests? If squash vine borers are killing your zucchini plants, hornworms are decimating your tomatoes, and slugs are feasting on your lettuce, you've come to the right place. Hi, I'm Jessica Walliser, and welcome to Savvy Gardening School. I'm so excited that you're here and ready to learn more about how to be a successful gardener. This course is titled Organic Pest Control for the Vegetable Garden. As a horticulturist and the former owner of a 20-acre organic market farm, I've seen more than my fair share of pests. But over the last 25 plus years of growing vegetables, I've learned a lot about how to limit pest damage without having to resort to synthetic chemical pesticides. In this course, I'm laying it all out there so you too can grow a garden with minimal pests, healthy plants, and maximum yields using a natural approach that promotes soil and plant vigor and doesn't harm pollinators or other beneficial insects. This course is divided into eight 10 to 20 minute sessions that you can watch anytime you'd like. You'll have full on-demand access to the course whenever you need it. Let me explain more about what's included in each of the eight learning sessions. In the first session, I'll introduce the basics of organic pest control. I'll discuss how to identify vegetable garden pests, identify how their life cycle determines how you manage them, and give you the tools to determine whether the bugs you find are good or bad. Session two is all about how to design the pests right out of your garden. Selecting the right varieties and planting them properly makes a huge difference in pest numbers. The actions you take in your garden can affect pest numbers too. That's right, what you do in your garden and when and how you do it can cause pest outbreaks or prevent them. The third session tackles some pretty cool strategies you can employ to directly reduce pest numbers. I'll share over a dozen controls that reduce vegetable garden pest populations with minimal effort. You'll learn how to use a slew of pest deterring tools like traps, baits, barriers, row covers, and more. In sessions four and five, we'll spend time learning about the concept of companion planting and how it can be useful for limiting pest damage if you have science on your side. Based off of the university and agricultural research I collected for my latest book, these two sessions feature well-studied plant partners that can deter certain pests from feeding on your plants or laying eggs on them. In session four, you'll learn about a technique known as trap cropping that uses one plant to lure pests away from another. You'll also learn how pests locate their favorite food plants in your garden and how you can trick them into going elsewhere. Session five stays with the theme of companion planting, but speaks directly to how combining certain plants together can deter egg laying and leaf eating, including keeping cabbage worms from laying eggs on your broccoli, hornworms from feasting on your tomatoes, and many others. In session six, we'll take a dive into the world of biocontrol. That's a fancy word for encouraging the good bugs to eat the bad ones. You'll learn how beneficial insects work and what you can do to encourage them to go on pest patrol in your garden. Plus, you'll meet eight different beneficial insects gardeners commonly encounter in their vegetable plot and learn exactly how they can help you grow a better garden. In session seven, I'll introduce a big handful of commercially made organic pest control products that are safe to use in your vegetable garden because sometimes, even when you do everything right, you still end up with pests on your plants. These products are easy to use and can safely control almost any vegetable garden pest as a last resort. In the final session, I'll outline quick and direct control strategies for some of the most common vegetable garden pests. You'll also see photos of these insects in their various life stages to help you properly identify them before taking any actions. I hope you'll join me for a helpful look at organic pest control for the vegetable garden in this Savvy Gardening School course. With the strategies I'll share over the full two hour long course, healthier plants, better harvests, bigger yields, and a happier, less frustrated gardener are sure to follow.